Hello, joyful learners, and welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad that you are with us, ready to listen and talk about the story. When you hear this sound, pause the video and get ready for talk time. The title of our book is The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. The author is Dawn and Audrey Wood. The illustrator is Dawn Wood. The title is the name of a book, and the author is the person who wrote it, and the illustrator is the person who drew the pictures. What do you notice about the cover of the book? Today you will listen to the story to find out what happened and how it changed Little Mouse's emotions. Emotions mean how you are feeling. As I'm reading, I want you to think about the question, what happens to make Little Mouse feel that way? We will use an organizer to help us remember what events changed the way Little Mouse felt. Let's begin our story. Hello, Little Mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? What happened in the story and how is Little Mouse feeling? He is feeling happy. Let's put that on our chart. How do you know he's feeling happy? Because he found a red ripe strawberry. Let's continue. But Little Mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big, hungry feet and sniff, 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 find the strawberry. How is Little Mouse feeling and how do you know? Let's add scared to our chart. Little Mouse was scared when he heard that the big hungry bear loves strawberries. Let's continue. No matter where it is hidden or who is guarding it or how it is disguised. Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum! How is Little Mouse feeling? And how do you know? Little Mouse is feeling smart because he had many ideas to keep the strawberry from Bear. Now that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end. How is Little Mouse feeling and what made him feel that way? Let's add happy to our chart. How do you know Little Mouse is feeling happy? Little Mouse was happy because he ate the strawberry. Let's look back at our chart to state what caused Little Mouse to feel that way. 
Little Mouse was happy. Let's say that together. Little Mouse was happy. Now, can you say that by yourself? Little Mouse was happy because he found a red, ripe strawberry. Our next picture shows scared. Let's say Little Mouse was scared altogether. Little Mouse was scared. Now you say it. You're right. Little Mouse was scared when he heard about the big hungry bear who loves strawberries. Little Mouse was smart. Let's say that together. Little Mouse was smart. Now you say it. Little Mouse was smart because he had different ideas to keep the strawberry from bear. Little Mouse was happy. Let's say it together. Little Mouse was happy. Now you say it. Little Mouse was happy because he ate the strawberry. Today you listened to a story in which the character's emotions were changed by the events. Little Mouse was feeling many different emotions caused by the fear that the hungry bear would get his strawberry. Think about the story and share with your partner something that happened and how it affected Little Mouse's emotions. Great job today, boys and girls. Make sure you give your talk partner a thumbs up and say thank you. For the lesson plan and extension activity to this read aloud, click on the link below. Thank you, joyful learners, for joining us as we have read The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear by Don and Audrey Wood. The second read of this lesson with video is also available.